This is a free pattern that I got from So Much Ado, and I really liked it. It was super great. I'm going to be walking you through when I made it with some pictures, and I just want to again thank so much ado.com for creating this free pattern for personal use only which means you're not going to sell it and neither am i but it's a great pattern so i definitely recommend you check out her and her site and all of the things that she has to offer so first thing head over to there go ahead and download tape and cut out your pieces and these are the pieces you've got the front back the bottom because it's got little booties on it and then like the heel or the toe area so you're going to cut out all the pieces, lay it on. I'm, I'm using double minky. Another one that's great to use is a bamboo lycra or a knit. Those are, I think, what the actual website recommends to use, but I wanted to try it with the, my, double, my double minky. And I really like how it turned out, but I will say, it, I mean, it's upside down, so it might be hard to read. I would add an inch or an inch and a half to the top and maybe even in the middle, depending on the size of the baby that's coming, um, because double minky is not as stretchy as some knits, and so it is stretchy, but it's not as stretchy, and so this was, this pattern I found really did fit like a newborn that probably isn't more than 10 pounds, so if you are making it for a slightly larger newborn, then you might need to lengthen it in some areas, make it a little bit bigger. And also, I just wanted to add that I did a blog post a couple weeks ago on um, using double minky to make a blanket. So I'm using the scraps from that because from one meter you can pretty much make burp cloths from one meter or one yard, a blanket, burp cloths, a hat, and these leggings. So I cut out the pieces and I'm gonna start with uh, these, the, this is the front. You'll see in a second. So. Note about this, about using double minky when you work with it, there's lots of fluffies and they can be kind of irritating. Well, one, they can make your house have lots of fluffies. So if you have an option to cut using with like a vacuum around or a fan or outside, I would recommend it with double minky. And also you might, if you, if you have sensitive eyes, you might want to like wear glasses or something as you cut because I noticed the fluffies kind of got stuck in my eyes sometimes and that, that was kind of irritating. Um, so just some things to note and cut out the two front pieces and then the two foot top pieces okay now and then okay here's all the different parts you're going to be cutting out now this part was kind of tricky so you see where my finger is over here so pin this i like using pins for the double minky so it stays in place a little bit better um, pin the middle right sides together pin the middle to middle of the top foot to the middle of the front legging piece on both of these so right here and right here and then you're gonna stretch it so if you go back you're gonna stretch this edge maybe I shouldn't do that just stretch this edge to here to match this edge over here and same thing on the other side stretch this edge over here to match this edge right here which will give you this Ooh. so once you have I only use three pins one for the middle and the one for both sides so after you have that pinned together, you're gonna take that to your serger or sewing machine. And I really like to use the sewing machine for these because I found that the serger leave a, a heavier seam that might have, might be more irritating for a, a child. Um, whereas a sewing machine, you, you just have the one, the one seam and then it's actually kind of bordered by the fabric itself okay so once you sew it together then you have this flap flap for the top of the foot you can see right here sorry that was my son coming in and out of the room and so this is what it looks like the two front pieces with the foot flap sewn on okay next you're gonna take the one of those pieces you just created and a back piece you're going to sew it together so right sides together line it up at the top just a reminder i added on an inch and a half to the top of both sides so it should match up perfectly which it does it matches up from here all the way to right here where the curve starts and so match it up from the top and then go ahead and sew that together
and then we have this right here okay so once you sew it down the seam and I'm sewing it as close as I can to the edge just to give extra room and so that I don't have to trim off a lot later um, you've got this piece then you're gonna fold it back over and sew not the crotch area but from where the crotch ends to the ankle okay so I now sewn those two edges this one's still unsewn and you can see I, I did it to both pieces so we have uh, this one is inside out and this one is inside out is that right this one's inside out and this one's right side out and so you can see where it's not sewn and how those two pieces uh, match up so next you're gonna take your two pieces you're gonna put this one the one that's right side out inside the one that's inside out you're gonna line up the crotch seam and that's what you that is what you're gonna sew next so that's what it looks like inside lined up I'm gonna sew it together and then when you inside the whole thing out you've got what is coming along to be little baby leggings okay now next you're gonna sew on the the bottoms for the booty booties for the foot um, right so inside it out again and then put right sides together this part's a little tricky the foot bottom part is larger than the opening of the leggings so which means you're gonna have to do some stretching as you sew to make it fit and not like pucker too much at one end so I would recommend pinning it at like the top bottom and the sides and then just trying to evenly stretch it as you go once you do that and you flip it all out then you've got these really cute little foot little foot booties on the bottom of your leggings see so the last thing you're gonna want to do is take um, the elastic band for the waist and you're gonna have to look at the instructions so these are just like pictures of me walking through it but uh, so much ado also has instructions and a video that you can watch um, you're going to fold it over half inch, sew the elastic together. That's what that looks like. And then you're going to put it inside of the waistband and sew that using a zigzag stitch all the way around. And this is because I'm using my sewing machine, but you could have also done this part on a serger. I just didn't want to switch machines. Okay, so we're so close. We're almost done. The last thing to do is flip that in roll it down once and then you're gonna sew again with a with the zigzag stitch to give it that like top stitch that nice finish and also to kind of just hold the elastic in place even better so now that I've done that that's what that looks like up close and I have a little pair of infant booty legging pants <laughs> there's got to be a better name for that in, and this is in the Ko print. Ko is a native Hawaiian plant used in Hawaii for making, uh, the wood is used for making bowls. That's one, one really great use of it, but it's a very beautiful orange bright flower. And uh, when you're all finished making that, you can move on to making a little matching beanie. So I hope that was helpful with the pictures. I'd also recommend looking at So Much Ado's instructions and video. That's also helpful. Uh, thank you again to So Much Ado for creating this free pattern. And I would love to see what you guys make. So if you try this out, you know, just for personal use, but if you try it out, then be sure to tag me, let me know, and show me what you created.